All right, so uh, welcome back to Rune Factory 4 Special. So the only thing I've kind of noticed here too is a lot more information on the screen, because again, there is only one screen now instead of the two. But um, it'll be a little while before we get free reign to do what we want. Um, but we can definitely pick up some stuff, I think. I believe we could- Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but... I did not mean to give you that. Sorry. I didn't want to give you anything. I just wanted to pick up this... thing. I'm pretty sure you can pick up... Yeah, like more of the same thing over and over. And then we'll keep that. Antidote grass. We'll definitely keep that. Get the speed. And the thing with this game, too, is, like, everything skills up. Like, absolutely everything skills up. Like, there's skills for everything. As you can see, we're skilling up stuff and we have no idea what it is, right? So. I'm having trouble picking stuff up, though, clearly. And we'll ship those, because we don't need those. My, oh my. Look at all. Well, the thing is, his time is also frozen, so we might as well clean up a bit of the farm here while we can. Wait, is there a turnip in there? Why is there... No, there's no turnip in there. I didn't think there would be, but you know what? Let's look inside. We have an estimated value of nine gold worth of stuff. But we are going to throw these in here, because we don't need weeds at the moment. Uh, but yeah, this game has like, it's got crafting, it's got combat, it's got gathering, it's got farming, I did it. monster, like, and the thing is, is for farming too, like with the animals, you actually have to like, capture them or befriend them rather, and then, you know, there's like, cow monsters, sheep monsters, chicken monsters, um, all sorts, right, so, yes. and then you can, you can capture any monster though. It's just, um, the ones that are, you know, related to, like, regular livestock will give you, you know, chicken monsters give you eggs and whatnot, so. But I believe there are some monsters that do give you regular materials as well. I, did it. Yeah. I believe there used to be, like, oh, well, I don't know. We're gonna just plant these turnips as we skill up a bunch of stuff that we can't see. Um, how many is that? That's what, eight? Is that nine? I think that's nine. So, you know, there'll be like a farming skill, there's like a gathering skill, a sleeping skill. Everything levels up. Absolutely everything. Alright, so now that that's all done... Um, we'll go and talk to Venti. How goes the farm work? Mm, why is a prince farming? Mm, because we have the talent of an earthmate. Earthmate? Earthmates are those who can communicate with the earth and monsters. They have long been enriching the earth through farming. That bump on the head must have messed with you far more than expected if you've forgotten that. Well, let's do an experiment. Come closer. Okay. What are we doing? Perhaps I can bring back your memories with my power. No way. Really? Yes. Really? Well, really ish, anyway. I can't guarantee anything. Yeah. Let's try it. I mean, please, let me try. Please? <laughs> alright, alright. Come then, let's go. Well, hmm. It's not working. So it doesn't work then after all. I can't bring back memory unless I'm involved in it. Why don't you just give up? Hey! How could I possibly do that? Well, at least we know that you're a prince, so you mustn't worry. We don't know that yet at all. We do so, you're just being stubborn. How about you go out and do some meet and greet with the locals? Someone might recognize your face. 
Oh, that's true. I'll do that right now. Wait, Les. Huh? When you're done asking around, will you come back here? Sure. Yes. Good. You may go now. Alright, so we get to meet the locals, and there's a lot of locals to meet. So... We have to figure out who we're going to want to marry, too. And there is, there is not, there is no same-sex marriage in this game, in case anyone's wondering. Um, I mean, like I said, this game was out in a while, and it is a Japanese game, and they're still a little bit behind on that sort of stuff, but... Anyways. Well, it didn't work. I see, I'm very sorry. But don't be disappointed. There's still a chance that you're the prince. You can write a letter to the royal capital to confirm. And if all else fails, you can always start a new life here. It's not that easy. I know, but I'm very serious, and I think in time, you two may find it the best course of action. What? Huh? This town is filled with warm-hearted people. They'll all welcome you with open arms. So there's no need to worry. <laughs> Cheer up! Venti. More than that... Excuse me. <laughs> Ahem. And who, pray tell, is addressing me? Yes. Arthur D. Lawrence, the 13th Prince of Norad Kingdom. I will be staying here in Selfia starting today. Lady Ventuswill, I kindly ask for your guidance. Um... Is something wrong? Are you the Prince? Yes. That's right. I thought I sent a letter stating that I would be arriving today. Hey! See, I told you it wasn't me. There's no way I could be the Prince. Uh, be quiet already. Even a perfect being can make a mistake or two in life. Um. Oh, ahem. So, you are the true prince then. Well, how do I explain? Um, I'm at a bit of a loss here. Um, that's it. This person here claimed to be the prince despite having no corroborating evidence. we never seen your face, so we had no choice but to believe the little troublemaker. Oh. What? You're the one who kept insisting I was royalty. Shut up, he'll hear us. That's why we've given away the room which was prepared for you, I'm afraid. We beg your forgiveness. Oh my. We take full responsibility for this grievous error, and we'll do what we can to make it right. Lest, I'm sorry. Sorry. I really am sorry. Will you stay at the inn for a while? I'll let them know. Uh, what? Please, I beg you. What? No. 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 Please, I beg you. Okay, but I, I don't think this is... I don't think we'll get out of this loop no matter how many times we do this. Sometimes you do. But this time I think it's kind of forcing me to pick the first option. But I don't want to agree. I actually know what happens here, but... Alright, okay. It's all right. It wasn't supposed. I wasn't supposed to be here in the first place. Excuse me. Please wait. What will you do? Where will you go? Well, I'll stay in the inn until everything's settled. I'm sorry, Les. Please don't be. No. There's no need for that. What? Huh? <laughs> this must have happened for a reason. Les, was it? What do you think? Will you trade places with me and serve as representative to this kingdom? realize what you're saying? I am well aware, yes. It's not a title you can just hand over to a stranger, you know. Can't I? I honestly don't think it's that important of a title. Of course, I'm not suggesting we trade our actual names or positions, just... Just what is it that you're planning exactly? There's something that I wish to do, but I can't do it if I'm busy running the town. So, will you take on my responsibilities? Wouldn't this mean betraying your father? That's true. I'm prepared for that. Hmm. I can tell that you have true passion within your heart. You have my permission. All powers and responsibilities of the prince will be given to Les. 
What? Me? Well, they were your responsibilities anyway until Prince Arthur appeared before us. I'll just say nothing's changed then leave it at that. Shouldn't be a problem, right? Please, Lust. Um... <laughs> Bow before me, peasants. You'll do it? Excellent, I knew we could count on you. Thank you very much. I will explain the duties of a prince to you in the coming days. For now, however, I must look for a place to stay. What? Huh? That's true. You should continue to use the room in the castle. Here. Since you're the acting prince, after all. But... Don't worry. I have a talent for negotiating. I don't anticipate any problems. Well... I must be off. What a dutiful young man. <sighs> What's wrong? Why are you sighing? Playing the part of royalty is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, no? Life is short. If you pass up opportunities simply because of a little memory loss, they'll be gone forever. I will tell Volkanon and everyone else to support you. I can help too if you need it. Okay. I guess it could be a good experience for me. Yes. Positive thinking is always good. I knew I could trust you, Les. Of course you'd say that now. So, what were you going to say earlier? Oh yes, that. It was about the duties of a prince. Even though even though I'm not one, and never said I was? My, you are a stubborn one. <laughs> anyway, let's discuss the matter now, shall we? In order to complete your duties as a prince, you must form connections with other residents. Trust is the most important aspect in your role as prince. So does that mean I should make friends with the townsfolk? Friendship doesn't necessarily lead to trust as a prince. You don't ask all your friends to help you work, after all, do you? So that's why you must first be trusted as a prince. And that's done by completing duties as a prince? Yes. Exactly. But how? There's a red box in the square outside that door. That's a request box containing the collective requests of everyone in town. By answering these requests, your work will be recognized. So I should just keep completing the requests in the box then? Yes! That will help you quickly build a good re reputation among your loyal subjects. And the better your reputation, the faster your farm work will progress. Wait, how does that work? You'll see. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. Why don't you go and check and see what's inside the request box? Okay. Uh, huh? Now? Of course, you're a prince now, for real this time. If you've got that, then get going. Alrighty, and now time is moving, so... Is this the request box? It doesn't look like a box. Oh, nice to meet you. My name's Eliza. Huh? Who is that? Where are you? Why? You can hear me? I can, but I can't see you. I'm right in front of your face! Whoa, the request box is talking to me? Maybe I should go to the clinic. No, that won't be necessary. I'm Eliza, the request box. And I'm ever so glad you can hear me. Now, listen up. Inside me is a list of all the important requests everyone has made. Because, let's face it, everyone needs help sometimes. But you can't solve all of them at once. No, no. So, I'll help you solve them one by one. You got that? Uh... Well, don't worry, just take it slow. Let's start by trying it out. By take, Try taking a request. Let's start with this request. So come to the order symbol in Castle Dragon Room. Reward turnip seed. Alright. Okay, I wrote down the details of the request in my notebook. Good, good, well done. By the way, you can check your current request by accessing the notebook. The notebook can be opened by pressing the minus button or tapping the icon on the right side of the screen. If you find the request to be too difficult, you may cancel it from the notebook. Well, that should be enough explaining for one day. Your head is liable to explode. Start by going to Castle Dragon Room right away. <laughs> Which is right here. I believe. So this is the order symbol, right? But what am I supposed to be looking at exactly? Lest. You checked for requests at the request box, I assume? Yes. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for coming here. Actually... I've been trying to find you. I would like to discuss your duties as prince. What? what do you mean? The main role of a prince is to give directions to help shape the future of the nation. 
These directives are regarded as orders. And this is the place where you can make your orders. Orders? Well, I think it would be easier to understand if you simply try it. Please, make an order with these. Ooh, we got 50 Prince Points. What are these? Yes. These are the points you'll need to spend to make orders. They're representative of your skill and reputation as a bona fide prince. You can make many kinds of orders by using these Prince Points. Prince Points? Well, give it a try. That's true. Choose any order you'd like. Trust me. Okay, got it. Yeah, Alright. Okay. I can upgrade the size, capacity of various things like my backpack or expand upon my farm. New backpack. From 15 to 30. That's a pretty big increase. Let's do it. Yes. I upgrade my backpack, now I can carry more items. Good afternoon. You finally made an order. Yes. I did. Easy, wasn't it? Just use your prince points to make an order. And whatever you asked of your loyal subjects, it will come to pass without fail. Isn't it a little oppressive, though? For my will to be done without any question, I mean? Well... Oh, well, you are a prince. A prince, huh? What's wrong? Boy. I just don't want to make people mad by being too demanding, you know? This whole thing feels really selfish, I guess. No need to worry about that. Actually, it's not as if you can do absolutely anything you want, after all. But why? Okay. Not as long as there are prince points you can't. But simply, prince points show how much people trust you as a prince. <laughs> as you complete requests from the request box, you'll earn more prince points. In short, it's only when people trust you that you can save up enough prince points to matter. It takes a lot of points to affect any sort of major change. But... So, if you're not trusted or well-liked, your powers are very limited. I see. Yes. Just think of it this way. If you have enough points to give an order, then you've earned the right to give that order. Oh. And since you've completed my request, yeah. allow me to give you these as a token of my gratitude. You should have noticed that your prince points just went up. What? How do I check? Regrettably. According to the royal guide, let's see. Look up on the upper right of the screen. What does that mean exactly? Sounds strangely meta. Actually. No, that you don't usually earn this much from one request. There's just one more thing I want you to do, and it will require a large number of points. <laughs> so I added a bit of a bonus, a show of confidence in you, as it were. What? Huh? Well, let's go on to the next request, shall we? The next request is to increase the number of tourists in this town by making an order. Um, tourists? Yes. Indeed. Money goes where people go, after all. Here. And the more money you make, the more you can develop the country. The role of the prince is to make this country a better place to be. And simply put, to accomplish that, tourists are absolutely essential. Alright, that makes sense. That's true. So, let's hold a festival to attract tourists, shall we? What? A festival? Well... No. This is another one of those things you'll likely learn a bit easier simply by doing it. Try to order a festival. Good luck. I think it would be better to choose a festival you can hold as soon as possible. That way, you'll get a feel for the whole process much more quickly. What do I do? Alright. So we got a thousand Prince Points. Uh, which festival should we hold? Ooh, the cooking one is on Spring 6, but we can't cook yet. Summer 11th is too far away. Be fluffing. We could probably take a turn up or something to the cooking contest. Or buy yes. something. Order. Order place for cooking contest. The event will occur on Spring 6. Good afternoon. Well done. You attracted more tourists by getting the town's name out there. And if the festival is a rounding success, like if you participate in it personally and really boost spirits, <laughs> then you'll attract even more tourists and this town will be a booming metropolis in no time. I see. So, uh, what is Apprentice Prince exactly? Actually, huh, that's your title. Your present prince title is determined by the number of tourists. As you advance in rank, you'll be able to issue more and more complex orders. The more tourists you bring in, the more the town will develop, and the more new items you'll be able to purchase. For example, new vegetable and flower seeds, stronger weapons, more reliable armor, all of which will also help you complete more complex requests. Good luck. Best of luck to you, your majesty. Yes. Uh, thanks. No. Well, that does it for my explanation of prince work, so I guess my job here is done. You should check the request box every day. It's very, very important. Good afternoon. Now, if you'll excuse me. Request completed. 
Ooh, we got a lot of turnip seeds. Eh. Alright, let's talk to Venti. Uh, the request box is right by your room. How do you like your room? It has so much character! Okay. So we'll have to work on some requests for a while. Um, so we're starting to get a little bit more freedom. Uh, we still don't have it yet, though. Oops, not what I wanted to do. We should also probably go and visit some of the townspeople and get to know them. Oh, we only had four turnip seeds. Mm. I thought we had more. I did it! Alright, let's see if we can open our notebook here. I have no requests. No, we still... It's not letting us access anything yet. Like, it's everything is still locked. Oh, no, it's not. Never mind. I'm an idiot. I just have to hit ZR. Anyway, so... If we look at our skills here, we have, like, a water skill... Earth skill, light skill, love skill, fire... Like, it only shows you the ones that we've started leveling up. But the list of this will be massive. And like, every skill will increase some of our stats, right? So like, for example, walking, higher skill raises maximum HP and RP. Farming, raising HP and RP and vitality. And higher skill level decreases room point consumption. And we're already at level 5 for farming, right? Leadership is at 1, so as you lead a party of fellow adventurers. So, like, if we look at no recipes, no party. Friendships. Ventus will is at zero. I'm surprised we don't have one with, uh, I don't even remember his name, but we gave him something. Let's see if we can give Venti something, because um, we can definitely give people stuff every day, right? So, maybe we'll try giving her some green grass. Let's go see if we can talk to a couple of villagers while we're out and about. Good morning. Hello, Nancy. Hello. Hello. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Right. What? <laughs> Noisy old ladies. She doesn't look that old. <laughs> old. <laughs> Hello, Clorica. Clorica's always sleeping. So let's see if we can give her something. Um, she's holding a medicinal herb, so maybe she likes this. Actually, we can probably give one to her as well. Oh, she kind of liked that. Good cheese. Well, we won't have cheese for a while. I don't know who you are. Oops. He likes dishes better. Alright, let's talk to you, though. Porcoline! <laughs> He's kind of, yes, he is kind of weird. There's a lot of very uh, interesting characters in this town. So this is one of the bachelors. Yeah, there's just like, there's not a lot of stuff that's voiced in this game, but I don't know what this does, by the way, but I'll select it. Hey, um, oh, <laughs> I love you. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, uh, let's give him a medicinal herb. Everybody's getting medicinal herbs today. Um, 
Let's go in here and see who we can meet. Welcome. She might... I don't know if she's a bachelor or bachelorette. No. No, I don't think she is. Otherwise, we would have gotten a little cutscene. Okay, let's give her a medicinal herb. We're gonna run out of these very quickly, though. Chinese food, of course. Everybody's getting medicinal herbs today, though. We're just looking for people. Actually, you know what? If we open up our map a little bit, we'll be able to see if there's people around. Uh, there's nobody up here. I think there is somebody in the... Spring over here, but I don't think... Yeah, we can't go in there, though. We're not allowed. We're allowed in here. But we can't go talk to her. Hmm. She's in a bathing suit, though. Actually, speaking of which, I think we got... Because, uh, I bought the game, and I think we got DLC with it, if I remember correctly. I don't know where I would equip that, though. Because I did get... I got, like, Bathing Suit DLC. I just don't know where that... Hmm. Not sure where we'd activate that. I'll have to look into that. Oh, is that somebody new down here? Hello. Oh no, we already talked to you. Um. Oh, hello. Oh. It's another bachelor. Oh. Heal. What? Studying this whole area for a long time now. Mm hmm. I know more about it than anyone else who lives here. Uh huh. Yep. So he's got all the rumors. Um, what should I call you? <laughs> Alright, what can we give him? Let's try giving him an antidote grass, see if he likes that. Yeah, he's happy about it. I might have to make, like, a spreadsheet to keep track of what people like. Well, here's one of the girls. We're not sure who we're gonna pick just yet, though. Mm. May I ask your name? I seem to remember it being Clorico who told me your name. Hmm, okay. Oh well, this happens all the time too. Don't worry about it. But anyway, I please to meet you. Okay, nice to meet you too. <laughs> she still hasn't told us her name. <laughs> and she still didn't tell us her name. <laughs> Here we go. Thank you. Glad to meet you too. Alright. Uh, let's give her an antidote grass. Um, hello. He probably would like an antidote grass, I would think. Mm, he's okay. He enjoys Eastern foods. Hmm. Oh, we're still trying to go around meeting all the townsfolk. Um, we may run out of time, though. There's a bunch of people up there. Must go. Oh, that's a big map. Hmm. Hmm. But you know what? I think I might take a break here, and next time we'll uh, continue looking for people and try to meet all the bachelors and. I think there is a request, too, where we have to kind of meet everybody, but I can't remember. 
Um, and we've only met a couple people so far, I think. Uh, so if we look at this here, yeah, so we've met, these are the people we've met. And they'll have a heart next to them if they're romanceable. Obviously we have no monsters yet. But anyways, take a break here. As always, thanks for watching. Until next time.